He loves it. Again, a sharp right hand. And again, you see, what you see more than anything else is Tony not head, getting hit. Head, no. Right. You have this fight, uh, a five-point edge for Tony. Hard to see it really any other way. And you know what? I think if I could, you can't go back and change rounds, but if I could, I'd change two or three to 10, eight rounds. I think Tom Arnold's right. The thing about Tony, too, is, you know, Lennox Lewis was the heavyweight champion of the world, but no one ever looked at him as the baddest man on the planet. He didn't have that aura. Mike Tyson was the last great heavyweight who was also the baddest man on the planet. And what James Tony brings to the division is not only supreme skill, but the, the, that sense of being the baddest guy out there. Difference between the best and the baddest, and James wants to prove he's both. A pity Pat jab from Booker, who just really doesn't have much left in the tank. Never mind, of course, you're watching this fight on the best damn sports show, period. Commercial free. And that's something you don't see very much. At least not on commercial television. Booker did slip a shot in there. This is traditionally the where Booker starts to slow down in the fight. He hasn't had a chance to speed up at any time, so we can't really tell if he's slowing down, but this is generally where he starts to fade. And, and you made this point earlier in the fight, but it's typical of Tony. He just kind of wears you down. He's kind of got one speed. He not really change gears too much, and he's fighting the same in round 12 as he is in round one. You saw Booker just take a big step back. And Booker's it. starting to think about if he wants to be fighting right now. That's right. That right a, hand to the body just started making him think about it. A deep breath through his mouth. When you see a fighter breathe Ten through his mouth, you know he's tired. You know he doesn't have much left. Pop at the bell, gentlemen. Coming down to the end of round six, more of same. Go ahead and back here, man. Go ahead and back here. Well, Tom Arnold, uh, let me guess, 10-8 on that one, too. You got that right. I'll tell you, all Booker's doing is reacting at best. You know, he's holding on. Thank he's you. reacting Thank you. Thank you. a little bit. You know, James is bringing it. He's relentless, like you said. I think he's punishing him at this point. I hope he gets it over with quick for both their Saints. Tom, it's going to be a revolution in scoring. You're well, leading a revolution yes. in scoring. I love it. Plus, I got to go to the bathroom, so I'm hoping, you know, something happens. <laughs> you got about three minutes. Go ahead, quick. All right. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to watch, guys. You know what? Tom Arnold's watching it through uh, expert eyes here. Knows what he's talking about. Well, it's hard to see this fight really anyway, but the way it is, I think. I gave Booker the first round, and I gave him the first round in the same way I gave Delahoya the first round the other night. He exceeded expectations. Yeah, right? that's exactly right. Yeah, we got it. Again, this yeah. is a, he's starting to take, a, well, he's been taking a beating, and uh, I question the wisdom of Booker's corner. That needs to be a fighter's first line of defense, their own corner, not the referee, their own corner. And there are some fighters who've come back and landed lucky shots. Booker, if he were to do it, wouldn't be the first one. But is the price he's paying worth even that opportunity to try to do it? Sean O'Grady, uh, you have been in this situation. You've been on both sides of this situation, on the Tony side and, uh, and on the Booker side. What, what is it like for a guy like Booker right now who really, for all intent, has no chance of winning this fight? He's completely out of this fight. You know, I would kind of like to see the corner step in and say, you know what? It's not your night tonight. You're not you're not there yet. We kind of questioned the veracity of his abilities today when we were talking to him. He didn't quite see where he was going and what he was doing. He really wasn't focused on tonight's fight. But I like Tom Arnold's and I like uh, your Max idea about the 10-8 rounds. Uh, I think it's extremely important. I also, also, I like that Tom is saying this is fun to watch. And believe me, Tom, it's Break. more fun to watch than it is to get in there and fight. To be, especially, especially to be Rydell Rydell Booker, Booker or someone in his family watching this fight. It's not fun for them. It's brutal. When you're taking a beat, and it's brutal. It is relentless, too, from James Tony. He doesn't stop. That's the operable word, relentless. I mean, Tony is, like I said, he's not, he doesn't really ever floor it, but he's always on the gas about three quarters of the way, and he never gets off it. Yeah, Booker had an idea, throw a right to, a, to the body of his own. Unfortunately, it's the seventh round before he started decided to try it. Sean O'Grady, of course, the former lightweight champion of the world, so he's been there. Booker's actually having his, uh, his best round in a while. He's still losing it, obviously, but is at least seeming to come out of, come out of his shell a little. Quick right hand slipped in by uh, Tony. Stop. Deep breath. Stop. Break. Nice and relaxed. Box. 
Clippers doing what he can, but what he can is very little. Yeah, Sean's right. It's not his night. I don't think any night that Booker fights Tony will be Booker's night. You know, something else needs to be said here, Barry. James Tony's looked incredibly impressive all night long. He wants to end this fight in a knockout. He wants to create demand to see him. And the casual sports fan who maybe it hasn't caught the fight, oh, James Tony knocked the guy out. It has better, a nicer ring to it than he won on points. I think that's true. He wants to close the show. Stop at the bell, 10 seconds. He wanted rounds to begin with. It's getting toward that point now where I would have to think he would like to uh, just get it over with. The end of the seventh round. James Tony uh, getting back into the ring after an 11 month layoff. Remember October 2003, even though Evander Holyfield, in my opinion, has been shot for a long time, and he's still going to come back and fight. This was still an impressive win. It's not your opinion, it's a fact, Barry. Holyfield shot, but no one ever beat him like this. And Tony beat Holyfield no differently than he's beating Rydell Booker tonight. He turned Holyfield into a journeyman. Uh, it was sad to see, it was difficult to watch. A total domination. But the only other time Holyfield was ever stopped in his career was against Riddick Bowe in their third fight. A titanic right hand by a 250-pound guy practically put him out. Not since then, and Holyfield fought Lennox Lewis twice and Mike Tyson twice. No one does that to Evander Holyfield. Even Chris Bird, who beat him decisively before Tony beat him, didn't beat him like that. I'm sure Chris will have something to say about that after the fight. And Holyfield's still not done. He's coming back yet another time. Round number eight. Watch your heads, watch your heads, guys. Tony on his toes now. Uh, a, lot, a lot of people would say, wouldn't you want the young kid to get the experience of going the distance with a guy like Tony? Wouldn't that boost his confidence? I went the distance. No. It's the, the punishment he's accepting here is not worth the reward of later on saying, oh, I went the distance with James Tony. Tony, oh, oh, that's, that's, there's the beginning, the, right the beginning of the end. There's the beginning of the end. Trying to get himself a little punching room. Booker in retreat. Tony's stalking him. Tony's a vicious finisher. He still takes his time, measures you, lands pinpoint shots. Good that right. right hand was the beginning of the end. And another right hand. That one misses. Left hook. Booker trying to tie him up. Chopping right hand right to the body in the uppercut. Again. And he's in trouble again. If you're in Booker's corner, what are you waiting for? Tony right on him again. Left hand and right behind him. Booker trying to hold on. Relax. Got a long way to go here. Just under two minutes. This is a mismatch. The guy is now looks slightly concussed. He's looking towards his corner. But, you know. And he takes it. Right. Got to right. stop it. Got to stop right it. Right here. He's right. He's looking towards his corner. He wants help. And why wow. is his corner making Six. him go down and hear Seven. the booze from the crowd? Eight. It's not okay. that he doesn't have heart. It's Walk that he has the Walk sense to know there's no way to win. Box. The corner should take the onus off of Rydell by stopping. This fight. Even even Tony. Tony's given him room here just to cash it in. And he and he really should. He's just gonna get more of a beating. And there's one thing about being game, and there's another thing about being stupid. And now the first line of defense is the corner. The second is the ref. How much more do you need to see? I know everyone would like a conclusive right. ending, right. but I think right this fight's been pretty Let's conclusive go. since the beginning, Barry. It absolutely has been, and Booker's just taking more and more of a beating as the fight goes on. There's a right to the body and a right uppercut again. Hands are free, gentlemen. Hands are free. Stop! And Booker Break. is trying to hold on. Booker is in full survival go, mode now. He keeps looking towards the corner. Help me, guys. Don't make me go out like this. Let me go out with a little dignity on my feet. Okay, my corner stopped, but he keeps looking over there. Backs himself into the ropes again. And nowadays, he does have heart. Booker does have heart. Nowadays, with the mics in the corner and everyone always listening, you can't even get in there and whisper, hey, stop the fight, I'm getting hurt out of right, this. Stop, break, deep breath, hold deep folks. Let's go, guys, come on. Sometimes deep a break. little too much bravado in this sport, and we've seen both of us, too many people get hurt by being too brave. And Booker, stop it Booker's the heart has been on display this entire fight. There's no questioning his heart. And, and Tony That's has fine. the look of a guy who really doesn't want to hurt his opponent here. Well, Booker got through the first round, first round and you have to stop. Point. Hope that his corner stops the fight. And they show no indication that they will. 
They're asking if you want to continue. And if you ask a fighter. Knocked off, Frankie. If you ask a fighter like Rido Booker, there's that right hand. That but that was knockdown. not the right hand that started him. That, no, that wasn't. Well, maybe it was. It may, it may have been. I keep, yeah, that was the one. That's the right hand. You know, you okay? now you ask you a guy okay like Rido Booker, do you want to continue? The answer is always going to be yes. He has heart. You have to make that decision for him. Frankie, I only had conditioning for two rounds. Very smart Eight move. Runners. For a young kid, that's a veteran move to go down nice. to a knee like that. Re try to regroup. Freddie Roach, I'm sure, is just telling him, go get him. Mouthpiece is in, seconds out. Let's go, baby, you like it, baby, you like it. Yeah, I'd really like to see him stop this fight. There's also the question, look, there are various lines of defense for a fighter's own good, a fighter with a lot of heart moxie, like Booker, who's in over his head. The first is the corner, the next is the ref, the next is the ringside position. Someone needs to step up. Round nine, Tony. Leaps off the stool right, and right at Booker. Nice and relaxed, nice and relaxed. Let's go. But Booker is going to wake up in the middle of the night and see Tony on top of him tonight. Get your arm out, James. Get your arm out. Literally, I would presume. All right, stop, stop, stop. No, 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 no. Let's go. Nice and relaxed, guys. Sean O'Grady yeah, from the corner the of Rydell Booker. And what are they thinking, Sean? A very somber corner here, Rydell Booker. Henry Hill, even at one point, holding his hands, his face in his hands, wondering, really wondering what to do. He's given Rydell instructions. He says, tie up on the inside, move, hold, wrap. I'd sure like to see the towel come out, guys. There's that right to the body and right uppercut again. That's been what's brought Tony this entire fight. Right, stop. Tony right. has a bazooka nice at a range of 100 nice feet. This guy has a knife. You can right give now. him all the Let instruction go, you want. You're making a rush. Come on, out. You know, it's, 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 it's nothing against Rydell Booker as a fighter. He's actually in the best shape I've seen him in, in terms of his ability to continue fighting late in the fight at a pretty good pace. He's but he's in with an all-time great who's determined. Yeah, he's overmatched. You we'll see that happens in boxing. Tony just punishing Rydell Booker here. That's his job. It is. It, it, I, I do get the sense right, of you did, Barry, that Tony's Let's actually box. decelerated box. a little because he doesn't want to hurt the guy. You think, well, why not just knock him out? Well, Booker's a determined guy, and he has skills, and he can handle himself enough to keep him himself upright. But the first 10-8 round I, I, uh, of the fight that I, that I have scored, I just gave to James Tony. He's won every round. The last one, 10-8. Tom Arnold is probably right. He's probably won some other 10-8 right, rounds, stop. too. Nice and relaxed. Deep breath. Both Let's go. That's Box. right, but you never see that, of course. Takes a knockdown like he had in the Let's last round. Right now. To make it a 10-8 fight. Usually, yes. Well, Sean O'Grady and I did a fight many years ago in Mexicali that uh, the last round was a 10-6 round, and uh, it was Jorge Paez, and he wound up winning the fight and needed the 10-6 right. to win the fight. Let's go, gentlemen. Let's go, gentlemen. Come on now. And it was legitimate. He knocked down Calvin Grove four times well, in the short, final round. Short of a knockout, there aren't enough points in the 10-point must system that Booker can win in a round to win this fight. No, no. He'd have to get Tony into minus numbers. Right. Stop. Break. Watch your feet. Watch, Watch your feet. Watch. 10 seconds, stop at the bell. Final 10 seconds of round number nine. Get that right to the stop at the bell, guys. And a nine. Right down. It's okay to tie up, but you gotta let go when I say break, okay, son? Well, Rydell Booker has done okay in uh, fights that last 10 or more rounds, but uh, you have the idea that that perfect record may go away here. How could you say that, Barry? <laughs> a lucky guess. Tom Arnold, I know you're seeing this the same way we are. Yeah, I am seeing it the same way. And, you know, we're seeing a lot of cuts out there for Booker, but we're seeing something we don't usually see in a fight, which is a little competitive.